Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get an email notification upon form submission, but inside this email notification, there'll also be a link to the lead record. Before we jump into this tutorial though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna break it into four easy steps. First, we're gonna verify everything in the form we created. Uh, next, we're gonna go ahead and create an email template inside Zoho CRM. After that, we're gonna go ahead and create a workflow automation. And then finally, we're gonna test everything to make sure it works. So to get started, let's go ahead and open up Zoho Forms. Um, here I have Zoho Forms open. I went ahead and saved us some time. Um, in the description below, I'll drop a link to other Forms videos, um, but for the sake of time, I went ahead and created a form ahead of time. Um, here you can see I have some basic information. Uh, these two fields are required. We have our email. And then I went ahead and created an extra field here that is hidden and by default checked. Uh, this is going to be our workflow trigger. So in this case, I have a uh, checkbox, um, but you know, oftentimes it could be like lead source. Lead source is this web form on this page. That could be your trigger as well. But for this example, I'm using this checkbox. So if we go ahead and go over to integrations, we can see I went ahead and integrated um, all of the different fields. One important thing I wanted to cover though in the Zoho form is you're gonna to wanna to make sure this automation and process management is turned on because if it's not, the workflows we're about to create inside the CRM will not trigger and therefore the email will never go out to alert you that a new lead has been submitted. Now you're probably wondering, well, why don't we just go ahead and go into settings here and create an email notification built in to Zoho Forms. Well, the issue with this is though it does have field labels, it does not have the Zoho ID um, here because it's not, the lead hasn't been created yet. So therefore I can't capture that Zoho ID. So this method would not work um, if we're trying to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, so now that the form is set up and we went ahead and verified everything, let's go ahead and hop into the settings inside the CRM. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is for the second part is create the email template. So let's go over to templates and let's go ahead and create a new template. And this is associated with the leads module and we'll create a blank template and new lead form submission is what we'll call this. And we'll just keep this very simple. A new lead has been submitted. And if you wanted to, you could do, you know, first, last company email. And then we'll go ahead and create a button for the lead gen. So um, hashtag is a quick way to populate these fields. And I'll do last name and we'll do company and email and then down here we're going to create a little cheat for ourselves real quick uh, we're going to want the lead id and we're going to want to hop over to the leads module again and we're going to want to copy this link up here so this is essentially the lead id that we're trying to populate is this link right here so what we're going to do is copy everything up to the numbers we're going to go ahead and drop this in our form and then we're going to use this right here put it at the end and now we have the link we want to have um, clicked on so let's go ahead and turn this into a button though we'll throw it here and we'll call this uh, um, view new lead and we'll go ahead and copy and paste that link we just created in there and now we have the lead button and we have a very simple email template created so let's go ahead and save this make a public folder 
Okay, so now we have our email template created. So let's go ahead and jump into part three. Um, so next we're gonna wanna go ahead and create a workflow rule. And we'll go ahead and create a new workflow rule. We'll go ahead and choose the leads module. New form submission will be the rule name. And on record action, create our edits. And we will say, looking at our field, it was called demo form submission is selected. So, and this is going back to what I mentioned earlier, this could be lead source is blank. And then here, based on the lead source, you could assign an owner based on different lead sources and send different email notifications based on which form is submitted or what fields they fill out within the form. This is just a generic kind of catch all, all leads coming in. I want them to go to me and I want to quickly be able to click in the CRM and open up their, their lead box. So we'll go ahead and notify via email. We will go ahead and create a new email notification. Here you can go ahead and set up who's gonna get the email. In this case, I'm not in the CRM, but I want it to go to me for this demo. So I will go ahead and add myself. We will save and we will go ahead now and select the template. And we're gonna go ahead and use the new template we just created and save and associate. Cool. So now that we have all of the parts created, Let's go ahead and test this. So let's go ahead and hop back into Zoho Forms. And we'll go ahead and click on the form. Go ahead and put in my information. And let's go ahead and hop back over to Forms. Um, sometimes if you have lengthy forms and it's the first time testing something, a quick way to see if it works if it doesn't automatically populate in the CRM after a minute, a quick way to test is you go to the form, you check the records, it is still pending. And we'll go ahead and give this a minute. It shouldn't take too long. Go ahead and refresh one more time. Cool, new record has been added. And if we go here and refresh, we can see that the new record has been added. So now let's go ahead and do one final test. I'm gonna pause for a second and load up the email and then we'll go ahead and test the email to make sure it works. Okay, so after a few minutes, the email came in. Um, as we can see here, the form I created, um, everything looks good. It pulled in my first, last company and email. And now for the secret sauce to see if this worked, let's go ahead and open this in a new incognito window. And if we pull it up over here, voila, you can see it all worked. Um, and it took us directly to the lead within the leads module. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button below. Also check out our description, you'll find other useful links including our resource library, Club Zanata, and our event calendar, as well as all of our social media prof profiles you can follow us on. Till next time, have a great day.